I'm a bit worried about the future of DMZ. Of course, it was just revealed yesterday. We had a bunch of new gameplay. People played it early, and a lot of people did not like what they played. So we'll go through what DMZ is all about, if you guys didn't know, why people didn't like it, what major changes are they going to make to improve DMZ, and all of that good stuff. Again, it's releasing next week with Season 1's update on Wednesday, November 16th. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be covering all of the info, gameplay, and updates as they come out on this channel. Appreciate you guys joining just at 106k thank you guys for that but let's go through first up here again a bunch of youtubers play this early let's break down first off what people are saying tim the tat man didn't play it early but he saw the gameplay of course he said dmz looked kind of meh warzone 2 looks solid excited for next week third person warzone's cool we'll talk about warzone 2 in a separate video face antenna dmz mid when i picture the call of duty dmz mode this wasn't what i was expecting from watching it, it feels more like a pub slash Wonder lacks the intensity and pacing of what Tarkov does so well. Hopefully, I'm wrong, but worried DMZ will have a short lifespan. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to go through here. Obviously, I have my, you know, first impressions and my take on this as well. And be sure to comment down below your opinions on what you saw. If you're a YouTuber that played this early, definitely feel free to comment down below. I want to see your impressions on that as well. Uh, from Wildcat here, DMZ could be fixed with the simplest concept. It wouldn't be perfect, but instantly light years better than the current let your money carry over into a marketplace and let you buy exclusive dmz only camos that are crazy expensive and absolutely fire would make it fun to grind this is exactly what the mode needs for launch make cash actually worth something because right now nothing is worth buying and there's no reason to go out of your way to loot cash this is the problem that a lot of people are seeing and experiencing you know with dmz here just a short synopsis of what dmz is in warzone 2 slash mw2 it's a mode that takes place on the warzone 2 al Mazra map. The official description says accept contracts, explore side objectives, engage with opposing operators and AI combatants, and search for valuable items, all while trying to complete your mission and get out alive. And, you know, while you're doing all of that, you're getting cash for completing objectives, you know, taking these contracts, and then your end goal is to extract, go to one of the three extraction zones on the Al Mazra map, and then you escape, and that's it. So that's the, you know, main objective there. And what people were experiencing while playing DMZ is that it was just kind of boring and it wasn't fun to do these contracts. I saw a bunch of people taking on contracts, bounty contracts to go kill people and they would have to go chase down AI. And you know, the bounties weren't even for actual players in the game, which makes it so much less enjoyable. Again, I don't mind AI. I thought the AI in DMZ in certain areas were pretty cool and actually fairly powerful. Like it makes sense for certain objectives and certain contracts, but a bounty contract or something where you're actually trying to go kill people it makes more sense for that to be actual players in my opinion but overall let me know down below how you guys feel about that and as Dalek was saying there it, it seems like in most cases there wasn't really a real need to go do these contracts and go loot for cash because it didn't really matter what you were doing there I mean depends on how you're playing this mode true game data actually gives some insight on why you know you would want to do that stuff the objective is to gather the loot you want and extract that's the overall objective of DMZ Say there is a certain set of attachments you want for your M4, you have to play a bunch and extract a bunch to get those. Then once you have your loadout, you could do whatever you want. You can hunt real players, you could do any of the objectives, all while trying to survive and keep your equipment for the next match. And again, that stuff carries over, so that's why if you hop into DMZ, you grind, do contracts, kill people, level up your weapons, get all of your attachments, and, you know, successfully extract from the map without dying when you hop back into dmz you'll spawn in with all of the stuff you already got that previous game so that's why you would want to grind for that you die once you lose it and start over that's it the objective is more clear in battle royale where you just try to be the last one standing with dmz the objective is whatever you decided it is plus eventually extracting from the map to keep your gear for the next match i think casuals could love it which is why i think we are seeing comparisons to plunder even though it isn't really similar to plunder at all but i could see a subset of even non-casuals really enjoying it if progression and things are good so i get what he's saying here and that's like my opinion as well because i know a lot of people have a bunch of crazy opinions on dmz it's too boring, it's not fun to play, it's too much like plunder, but then you have other people saying, wait a second, this is not like Escape from Tarkov at all, it's too fast paced, it's too Call of Duty-esque. And for those people, Escape from Tarkov, you know, is a lot slower, a lot more methodical, a lot more calculated, and for Call of Duty players, 
they probably wouldn't like that because that would be too slow for them. So you have two different subsections of people that probably, you know, wouldn't want to be more like Escape from Tarkov and then other people that want to be even faster, more like Warzone, more like a Call of Duty mode. So let me know down below your opinions on that. I'm in the middle, honestly, because I didn't want to be fully like Escape from Tarkov. I didn't really play that game ever. And I definitely like a faster style of, you know, game mode, especially with Call of Duty. It makes more sense for me with DMZ here. It seems fun for what it is, but it's definitely not where it should be. I don't like the AI and a lot of those contracts there. I want more objectives and goals and rewards for playing DMZ, like people were saying. I want to talk about more exclusive rewards we could get for playing DMZ in this game very soon. But first off, we have a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. All right, guys, so let's take a look at Nexarda. It's the video game price comparison website. A lot of great stuff here. You could see off the bat, brand new video games now available. They have discounts on a bunch of the newest games here, most notably Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We have up to 8% off. The game just came out a week ago, and it's the best-selling COD of all time so far. So for there to already be a discount for this game on this website is pretty telling here. Discover over 45,000 game deals for 2,500 plus video games on all platforms from 95 online retailers, including official stores, key sellers, and marketplaces. So you're getting deals from all over the place. You go here. This is a free-to-use website, Nexarda. You hop on and you could compare all different prices and get the cheapest possible prices for video games again, codes, and a bunch more. You could also look at upcoming games coming very soon, the cheapest games on the platform right now, discounted games, and spotlight games of the week again, including MW2. You could search up whatever you want to search up as well up there. So great service, free to use. Be sure to check it out. Links are down below in the description and in a pinned comment. Now some more stuff here. The rewards for DMZ are blueprints, operator skins, and XP tokens. Struggling to see the longevity and grinding aspect to this game mode when it seems like it's just there to support camo grinding and war zones. So I get what he's saying there. I mean, although if there are exclusive blueprints and operator skins that you constantly can get for grinding at DMZ and getting to a very high point in that mode, whether that means getting to a certain cash position without dying. So if you stay alive in DMZ for a month of like a real lifetime, you hop into DMZ, you successfully extract and you never die for a week straight and then a month straight, you should get some crazy top blueprint or operator skin for successfully doing that which is super super difficult and that would be like this crazy goal that people could grind for and that would really make dmz more rewarding so i don't completely agree with metaphor here i feel like there could be some crazy overarching goal that makes people want to hop into dmz daily and grind for that top camo with warzone you know warzone is warzone you know relatively short games 20 to 30 minutes fast paced relatively depending on the size of the map of course and you hop in, get some kills, you win the match, you, you know, ex exfil at the end, and that's it. You know, very short to the point. DMZ is more of a long-term grind, a long-term game, you know, a, a, bit, a bit more tactical in that sense. And if there is some top reward or several top rewards to work towards that actually takes time, that could be something that people want to grind for. And again, XP as well. It seems like you do get some decent XP. All of the cash that you get from DMZ instantly turns to XP. That seems pretty good as well. I mean, even if it is like an XP camo grinder or whatever, that still is fun. It's still a different type of game mode to mix things up within MW2's MP and Warzone 2 spec ops. I mean, it doesn't have to be this crazy mode. It could just be what it is, a fun little mode, do some objectives, you know, try to survive, level up your guy, get cash and successfully extract from the game. Like that's fine. It doesn't have to be this crazy thing. But I think that if there were some more top rewards, that would be pretty sick there. And Iceman Isaac says this, I think DMZ should be delayed, which is pretty interesting there. Let Warzone 2 go crazy on November 16th and keep working on DMZ until it's ready. I think they're already going to be doing that. DMZ is a work in progress. I don't think this is the final version. As the seasons go on of this game, we're probably going to get more and more DMZ updates that drastically change the way we play this game. So I don't think this is the final version at all. I mean, Warzone came out March 2020 in a beta form, quote unquote, you know what I mean? And it wasn't fully evolved until a couple months later. That's just how it is. So DMZ will definitely get a ton of updates, you know, very soon as it evolves and, you know, grows in the future. Perception at launch is perception forever, which is actually true as well. It's a pretty good case for why it should kind of be delayed there. Delays are better than a dead release. Please, there's so much potential here, but there's just no depth to this game right now. That is kind of true as well. Not much depth that I saw, honestly. The map is incredible. I wish it was set at sunset night differ to Warzone. AI is challenging, but what for? That's actually a good point to uh, make it a little bit different from Warzone. Have DMZ take place 
audience at an evening nighttime vibe to make it a bit more tactical and scary. I like that idea a lot, actually. Right now, the game feels pointless. We're looting all game just to extract some XP. That's that's what I'm saying. It's I mean, it's fun for what it is, but there's no other real goal there. No stash, no quest lines, no marketplace, no in-game economy, all stuff that you would think DMZ would have that it doesn't have right now, which I think they will add in the future, but it's gotta be here right now for people to like it, obviously. Am I missing something? I was super excited for this game mode, but it just looks like plunder with AI and extractions, which I don't think it's exactly like plunder. It seems a little better, but overall, that's what people are saying there. And the Ghost of Hope says this, thoughts on DMZ so far from what I've seen, needs a more silent, dark-themed atmosphere, which differentiates it from Warzone 2 experience. I again, completely agree with that. TTK is way too fast and inconsistent. A slower TTK for a DMZ type of mode definitely makes a lot more sense there. I don't know if they're going to do that, but that makes sense. And finally, backpack size seem overwhelming to deal with. I, I mean... I don't know. I, I don't mind the whole looting system from DMZ. I think it's supposed to be, you know, crazy and over, not overwhelming, but a bit more in-depth and methodical. And, and you're supposed to have all these different things to deal with. I think that makes sense for DMZ. Maybe the backpack size being overwhelming for Warzone 2 is a bigger issue and problem. That should be more simplistic like Warzone was from, you know, a couple years ago. But with DMZ, I don't mind that as much. But again, let me know your opinions on what you saw from DMZ down below. I'll be sure to make a separate video going through your guys' opinions and first impressions. And then also, I'll be playing and streaming with you guys, playing DMZ with you guys next week on Season 1's release date, November 16th. We'll see how it is. We'll see if we like it. We'll see if we hate it. I mean, I don't know. I'm open-minded, of course, as I am with most things. I've, well, all things, pretty much. But um, it, it does seem like DMZ has some issues here. Let me know down below what you think they should change, what updates you want to see, and we'll be covering it all on the channel. So be sure to subscribe for more MW2 Warzone 2 news update videos like this. Shout out to the YouTube members, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.